No, um, at first it was just a head shaving thing. Like I was at my parents' house for a couple days and I kind of went to my mom and I was like, hey, so I'm thinking maybe of shaving my head. She was like, what? Meet Trish Caddy, creator of Babes Go Bear for Cancer. And she kind of thought about it and said, well, if you're gonna go to all that trouble, like why don't you do it for a really good cause? Why don't you make it into something bigger? Bigger turned into 1,250 full color nude calendars that aim to change the way people think about beauty. The pages feature 12 bold, confident women, including Trish herself, posing naked and unairbrushed. Our goal is not to be sexy or sexual or racy or anything like that. The goal is more to just um, show women's bodies in a positive, beautiful light without placing any of the emphasis on sex. To accomplish this, each girl is pictured with objects that are strategically placed to keep things PG and add some fun. Yeah, um, so all the girls are using props that are their own and things that they, um, that mean something to them and have something to do with their life. For instance, one of the girls um, is a motorcyclist. She's got a motorcycle in. And um, I work in the anatomy lab at EVIC, so I'm holding an anatomical heart um, as well, like one of the models and just things that pertain to their life and who they are. Once the calendars were printed, a launch party was held. Trish acknowledged sponsors and explained how not only does the project showcase beauty in the form of diversity, but the calendars are being sold to raise money for the BC Cancer Foundation. Trish called me and we set up a meeting and we sat down and she explained what she was going to do and so she asked if we had any ideas where we could help her and she was so enthusiastic and so gung-ho and keen. She had it all so organized and so basically all I did was say you're doing a fantastic job and she went out and got everything that she needed and it was great. The BC Cancer Foundation felt the project fit really well with their philosophy as the calendar features real women with real stories, some of whom are cancer survivors themselves. It's just such a unique fundraiser and it's so empowering and it's so tastefully done and we're, we're thrilled to support it. Trish hopes for continued support and sponsorship from the community. If they raise $25,000 for the BC Cancer Foundation, all 12 babes will go one step further for real beauty. The deal that we're kind of striking with the community now is that if we do that, then all of us will shave our heads publicly for cancer. So we'll hold a big media attended um, public head shaving rally. All 12 of us will shave our heads and any of the hair that Locks of Love will take, like my hair's not dyed, it's pretty long, um, will go to Locks of Love to make wigs for kids with cancer and other illnesses that cause them to lose their hair. I thought it would be kind of an interesting statement to have these calendar girls or these, you know, nude calendar models, quote unquote, because they're not really models, but um, to shave their heads in the end because it's such a, um, a throwing off of that female vanity. Do you know what I mean? Like women spend so much time and energy on their hair and to shave it all off and say I still love myself I think would be really, really cool. So that's part of the reason.